I wasn't even ready for the career at the time and I questioned it, but I said, you know, I'm just going to apply. Uh, you never know, you know, just going to shoot my shot, put in my application. And then eight years later, the rest is history. The first car I ever painted was a 1969 Chevy Camaro. It was the passenger door. And I, I remember I did it like a beautiful maroon purple with some transparent green stars. So it looked like they were kind of 3D on the panel. And so that like was my favorite car of all time because of that. And I fell in love with painting specifically. So at a very young age in high school, I was like, man, this is it for me. This is what I'm gonna do. Um, but when Judson called me, I was at the shop where I was the head painter and I was painting about three or four cars a day and I was loving it. Um, so it was kind of like a challenge for me to walk away from that because it was wonderful and I really enjoyed it. Um, but this was kind of like my career goal to, to be a, a collision repair teacher. So I just kind of took the leap of faith and I joined the team. And I'm really happy I made that choice. Our mission is just to prepare our students for either the next level of education in collision repair or, um, or the industry. Me personally, I wanna give my students at least an idea of what it feels like working full time out as an adult in the real world or in the industry. And I wanna make sure I can give them good habits of safe work ethics and work, work ethics, period. The ultimate goal is if they wanna do this as a career, to get them in position to network, meet people, and make a name for themselves at a young age so that they already know and have a good idea of where they would like to work and what they would like to do in the industry so that in their adult world, they don't really have to spend the time trying to figure out what exactly that is. I think I wanted to teach collision repair because I think I was really inspired by my teacher and I really love the education behind it. There's like half the industry that learns a skill when they think it's just a skill. And I think the important part that I, I find it important that we should learn at the core and in the beginning is the educational part of it is slow down. Let's talk about what chemicals are mixed in. How does it, you know, catalyze and, and how does it work? How does it create the chemical reaction it does? And, you know, for the imperfections in your paint job when you go wrong. I just think that not, not everyone's willing to take that route in education. And again, those are the parts that I just really, really, I love and I'm fascinated with. And because I look young, a lot of people do not take me serious, but um, I'm actually okay with that. I, I'm the type of person, I like my work to speak for itself. So a lot of people will like write me off, oh, you're young, you just don't know, or you, you only know the new stuff. Um, and I'm out there just trying it all out. Most uh, shop owners and technicians and shop managers, they're gonna look at the young and say, you don't know what you're doing, you gotta earn your spot here. So I wanna also instill to my students, be prepared for that. And so it's, it's been a very fun and interesting journey for me in my industry. So Judson Automotive, when I got here, it was a much smaller program. There were two teachers, one for the body shop, one for the auto tech shop. And in just three years alone, our numbers doubled and our classes were busting through the seams. So I started teaching half the day entry level and then half the day level one um, collision repair. I, I tend to do the, the paint and refinishing more. I love to work on like the small dings and chips and we can get that all the way to the paint level. But I like the, the quicker version of let's watch that thing drive out the door. I'm really proud of my program. Um, a lot of us teachers, we've been working together for years and we have a really great relationship of bouncing our ideas off of each other. I think not in every district, they will give you as an individual in your program an opportunity to just be great. I have super supportive staff. I, I can go to my, my district director and say, hey, I have an idea, but I also have a plan. Um, if, if we can get support and you know do this, that, and the other, it, it can it can end up really great. This particular district has such a wonderful support system. It's like, yes, you get the thumbs up and tell me what you need from me. And I don't know if that's in other districts, but that's definitely something that keeps me. It's a really, really supportive environment, like in every aspect, supporting students, supporting parents, supporting staff members. And I would love to see employers come into our door for like career days and say, hey, we heard about you. 
you guys have a great reputation, a great program, and we're dying to hire your kids. Um, I think that's, that's the ultimate goal. One of the most important things for me is I learned how to kind of take a step back sometimes instead of teach the kids perfection, give the students a chance to have imperfections and teach them how to, how to fix those problems and how to problem solve because I want to create a safe environment for the students to say, hey, you know what, I messed up really bad. My biggest aspiration is just to inspire. I think if I can inspire a kid to maybe take my place one day, that would be kind of amazing. Hi, my name is Angie Venegas. I'm a collision repair instructor at Jetson High School, and I am the heartbeat of Jetson ISD. Jetson ISD, one home, one family.